Ебать, вот. Вот я нашел еще одну машину. Где? Да я снимаю видео. Можно сделать. Да вот, все заебись, но, сука, руль на, бл на блокировке, пиздец. Вот про пробуем раздрочить, короче, замок. Пизда, нахуй. А девушка поломалась. Ебать, тот рот. Ничего у нас все нет. На крест. Безумно на крест сейчас уйду. Нихуя. Россия не ебать. Пока ты поебали, как щелк, как мы все машины тут заставили. В России, да. Хули мы вообще отчаянные парни. О. И стекло я тут. Иночка, это пизда, нас тоже взломали. Сняли одну решетку, взломали дверь. Короче, это полная жопа. Сердце кровь, сука, кровью обливается. Нет, нет сил смотреть на все это. Это пиздец. Russia's youngest conscripts find themselves in the middle of a major war. The long-held sacred practice of avoiding the involvement of young Russian army conscripts in combat is being destroyed in the Kursk region. As the New York Times writes, it has become standard practice in Russia not to send conscripts to the front lines. This is provided for by law and accepted by all parents who hope to protect their sons from the carnage of war. But Ukraine's lightning fast invasion of the Kursk region has crossed out this agreement. Moscow was taken by surprise. Suddenly war came to the conscripts. Hundreds of them were captured, dozens are missing and potentially dead. Moscow's decision to send young, untrained soldiers to the battlefields of Afghanistan and Chechnya helped bolster the domestic opposition that forced the Kremlin to end those conflicts. So during the chaotic first days of Russia's February 2022 invasion of Ukraine, when several hundred newly drafted soldiers were found in units that had crossed the border, Putin ordered military commanders to send them home. Only professional military personnel will carry out assigned tasks, Putin said at the time. However, when Ukraine broke through to the Kursk region, Putin did not recall the conscripts. Some newly minted soldiers from remote regions told their families that they were being sent to Kursk as reinforcements. The unexpected danger to the conscripts has sparked a bitter online battle between war supporters who accuse fathers of being soft on their sons and parents upset that a long-standing tradition has been broken. Russians have been outraged, criticizing the lack of proper training, poor weapons and the small number of elite descendants serving. Before sending conscripts into combat conditions, teach them how to handle weapons and provide them with modern means of warfare. There is no point in defending the borders of the motherland with bare hands, wrote Russian citizen Elena. Russia would need between 30,000 and 40,000 Russians to drive the Ukrainians out of Kursk, military analysts say. The fact that they have been slow to deploy a force of that size is a sign that they lack the necessary reserves. Russia is facing a labor shortage, said Pavel Luzin, a Russian military analyst questioning Putin's claim that the country has deployed nearly 700,000 troops to eastern Ukraine. These troops do not exist, so Russia needs to use conscripts. 
The use of conscripts in wars is taboo for the regime due to fears that it could fuel a national anti-war movement. According to reports in the independent Russian media at the time, untrained conscripts were thrown into bloody urban battles for which they were completely unprepared. Intense pressure from parent groups not only forced an end to the war, but also pushed the Kremlin to rewrite the rules to keep conscripts out of combat. The conscription issue is one of those hot-button issues for Putin personally because of Chechnya, said Dara Masikot, an expert on Russian defense and security issues at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. The Russian leader has been extremely consistent in avoiding the use of conscripts, she said, adding that deploying poorly trained conscripts adds significant political risk with limited military benefit. After the Kursk invasion, more than 12,000 people signed a petition against the use of conscripts, but there were no reports of street protests.